I get asked all the time about what is the best way to become a smart contract auditor. In this video, I'm going to cover exactly what I think is the optimal way to go from zero Web3 knowledge to become a very skilled auditor in just four simple steps. In addition to the roadmap that we're about to go into, I've included some fantastic resources in the description below that will help you get started after you watch this video. But first, who am I? My name is Owen and over a year ago, I founded Guardian Audits. And since then we've uncovered dozens of critical and high vulnerabilities while auditing hundreds of smart contracts. I've personally spent over a thousand hours auditing smart contracts. And my goal with this channel is to distill down everything that I've learned and picked up along the way and give it to you so that you can become a much better smart contract auditor than I ever could be. All right, let's not waste any more time and get right in to the auditor's roadmap. Okay, so the way I see it, there are really four main steps to this auditor's roadmap. First is to start off by just building something, being a developer yourself, and learning the ins and outs of Solidity. Second is just to learn and become familiar with all sorts of DeFi primitives. Once you've got a handle on Solidity as a language, as well as some DeFi primitives, then it's time to dive straight in deep in Web3 security. And then after that, it's all about building a personal brand for yourself in the Web3 security community. Okay, great. So the optimal way to really start off and dive into the Web3 space is to just be building something. Too many people want to go straight into Web3 security and become an auditor, but they haven't even become a Web3 developer first. You need to put yourself on the other side of the table and experience what it's like to be a Web3 developer before you become a very effective auditor. If you're just getting into Solidity, I recommend that you start off by building something very simple and easy, and then slowly add features and complexity and progress from there until you're very comfortable with the language. Here's an easy one to get started off with. First, just try building a simple faucet contract. And then once you've got the very basics down, try implementing meta transactions so that users can get gas without paying any gas money. Then once you've mastered a simple project like that, you should move on to something more complex and interesting. Build whatever you're interested in making. This will help you overcome the learning curve much easier and actually get a lot more out of the process. That could be anything from an optimizer vault to an NFT exchange to the latest and greatest DeFi Ponzi scheme that we have. Throughout this building phase, you're going to become much more familiar with the Solidity language and get to know all of the common design patterns and common vulnerabilities that you want to guard against as you're developing smart contracts. Fantastic, now that you've built something that you're proud of and you've really gotten familiar with Solidity as a language and all of the most common attack vectors that you want to generally avoid, now it's time to dive deep into some popular DeFi protocols and learn all of the basic primitives of DeFi. You should aim to really master or even just become familiar with all of the different kinds of DeFi applications. For example, this could be DEXs like Uniswap, Balancer, or Curve, auto compounder vaults like Yearn or Beefy, lending protocols like Compound and Aave, and even things like staking. But whatever you choose to learn about in DeFi, one hack that I found is actually investing in the protocols and using the protocols that you're trying to learn about. This is of course not financial advice, but personally I found that when I invested in a lot of DeFi protocols, this is when I really turbocharged my understanding of DeFi and had that next level of motivation to keep learning and keep understanding new and cool things about smart contracts. I might have lost a decent amount of money, but I learned a lot of stuff along the way. All right, fantastic. So now that you've gotten really familiar with Solidity as a language and you've become familiar with a lot of the DeFi primitives that are commonly used, it's time to dive really deep into Web3 security and absolutely specialize in all sorts of vulnerabilities and bugs that can come up when writing smart contracts. At this point in the roadmap, your job is to basically just learn as many vulnerabilities, attacks, exploits, common bugs as you possibly can and index these things into your brain. You're going to combine all of this knowledge with a little bit of creativity and 
a lot of attention to detail as you move forward and start to begin auditing. This is where the resources that I've included in the description below are gonna come in handy. First of all, we have the encyclopedias of common attack factors and bugs at lab.guardianaudits.com. This is a collection of every known attack factor and bug with a description and information on each one. We're continuously building out this resource and I invite you to open a pull request and contribute to it if you notice anything that's missing. Then there's an entire corpus of Web3 security knowledge at web3securitydao.xyz. This holds all sorts of knowledge about CTFs, YouTube videos, audit reports, anything that you can imagine related to Web3 security, this place has got it. And if you want a more structured approach to Web3 security, then you can check out ghosts of epochs past.xyz. This web app takes all of the past Securium races and allows you to take them in test form and then gives you the answers so you can learn from all the previous Securium races. In addition to all of these resources that I just shared, it's extremely helpful to go through other audit reports and resources on vulnerabilities that are actively coming up in the space. For this reason, I included the corpus of Code Arena findings in the description below, as well as a link to all of Guardian's public audit reports where we've uncovered over a few dozen of critical and high vulnerabilities. Amazing. So the Web3 security research phase never really ends. But after you've invested a good few dozen hours into this phase of the roadmap, it's time to move into the fourth part of the roadmap and start building your personal brand in Web3 security. Now it's time for you to start competing in audit contests, doing private audits, and building up a corpus of portfolio work. Having a strong portfolio of all your past findings and audits is gonna help you stand out from the crowd and build your name as a Web3 auditor, if you're gonna be doing private audits, ask your client if you can release the report because this is gonna help you build your personal brand and show people all the fantastic work that you're doing. If you're gonna compete in an audit contest, go ahead and wait for the report from that contest to get released and then compile a report of your own findings and release them so that you can show the world what you found and all the Cool, interesting findings that you had in the contest. One more pro tip to really build out your brand in Web3 security is to share all of your learnings with the community. Found a new cool exploit? Go ahead and make a thread about it and share it with everybody. Maybe somebody else has been looking into a similar exploit and you can learn from them as well. I've included an in-depth thread of how you can supercharge your personal brand in Web3 security in the description below. All right, so to sum it all up, the roadmap to go from zero in Web3 security knowledge to a fantastic auditor in the space is to first build something and master the basics of Solidity, and then to become familiar with all the common DeFi primitives, and then to dive deep into Web3 security and learn every possible attack vector and common bug that there is and then finally, to build up your personal brand for lasting success in the industry. If this roadmap resonated with you, check out our Solidity Lab community, which is a community of like-minded auditors who are all on this same exact journey and helping each other progress. You can apply to join this community at lab.guardianaudits.com. In the Solidity Lab, you can ask me and hundreds of other like-minded auditors any questions you have at all related to Web3 security, and even team up with others across the world to participate in practice audits and sharpen your skills. All right, that is all for this time. I'll see you in the next one.